Well, hello, everyone. Tom and I are still down here at First Energy Stadium, where the Browns have just lost 23-7 to to the Houston Texans. This was a chance for the Browns to solidify their status as the first place team in the AFC North, and nothing went right from start to finish. No, and they lost by 16 points, and it didn't even feel that close, to be honest with you. Uh, they got thumped today. Uh, it reminded me a little bit of just kind of what happened coming off the big Pittsburgh win and then playing so poorly in Jacksonville. This team, I think, is still kind of learning to how to deal with success a little bit. Uh, I know as much as Patton preaches that, they just did not play well in any phase today. No, they didn't. Actually, I asked Desmond Bryant afterwards, uh, you know, just a little bit about that whole topic. And he said, you know, we, we weren't prepared. They came out. They were hungrier than, they, than we were. They wanted this more. And I'll tell you what, I watched J.J. Watt in pregame warm-ups, and he was running around. I could tell that he was going to have a monster game. He was leapfrogging over teammates. He was high-fiving fans in the stands. And he just came out, and he was lights out from the start. Yeah, he, he stuffed the box score like LeBron James does. He, it was like he was involved in everything. Actually, he kept both teams in the game because he had the two uh, the uh, roughing the punter calls that really gave the Browns their only touchdown, but just dominating, just a dominating performance by Watt. Defensively, catches a touchdown pass. Uh, he was he was terrific. Yeah, their whole defensive front, I thought, the addition of Brian Cushing, J Jadavian Clowney coming back this game, I thought their def defensive front uh, just really, really took it to the Browns and uh, and made this a very, very long afternoon for Brian Hoyer, who got hit hard and early and a lot. Uh, now, as far as Ryan Mallett, it, it was his first start. Uh, he did well, but... Alfred Blue, you got to give a lot of credit to uh, their running game, their running attack. Uh, they ru he rushed for this rookie rushed for a hundred more than 150 yards, 156 yards against the Browns. When Arian Foster went out, you thought that was a break for the Browns. It wasn't. No, and, and boy, it continues this disturbing pattern of of making rookie running backs look really good. This is a the third time we've seen this happen this year. Denard Robinson, of course, the kid from uh, uh, Baltimore, did the same thing. It, and it, Again, it's this the run defense has struggled all year, and now Mary Kay, you know, beyond the loss itself, uh, they, they, they lost Carlos Dansby in this game. We'll find out more tomorrow with a knee injury. I think Coach Petton told you guys that uh, an MRI tomorrow, if they lose him for any extent of any extensive time, this would be a massive blow, I think, to this defense. It is a massive blow. Not only did they lose Carlos, but then we also saw Jabal Sheard uh, limp off the field late in the game. They were already without Phil Taylor, who is going on or who is on injured reserve for the season with a knee injury. And you know what? I really do believe that the defense kind of cracked under the strain of losing all of these guys. Yeah, I mean, they, yeah, obviously they were they're kind of they were kind of taking on a little bit of water there in the first half. But when Dansby went out again, just they, they they just they really had nothing going for them. I don't think you know we talked about how Ryan Mallett's kind of a statue back there, can't move. He wasn't sacked. I don't even think he was barely touched today. Or and that was one of the surprising things that they were not get, able to get any kind of sustained pressure on him. No, his Ryan Mallett's offensive line did a great job, obviously blocking for 156 yards rushing just by the rookie alone, 213 overall uh, by by the Texans today. And then, like you said, when I I, I ducked into Ryan Mallett's uh, post game presser and he said, "I think I was hit maybe one time." So his offensive line did a tremendous job. But again, I think uh, it has a lot to do with even Billy Wynn got nicked up in this game. So I think it has a lot to do with the uh, the Browns are just a little bit beat up along that defensive front yeah and again this is where you where you talk about and there's no more bye week there's no more Thursday game to have 10 days off don't forget they're coming off this break where they had 10 days off nine days off they sure didn't look like it and, and it was all phases the special teams were poor again today they missed a field goal they had crazy things happening on on the punt team uh, had a touchdown return nullified by a holding penalty it was just bad all around, and I thought the key play of the game, I mean, again, they were beaten soundly today, but the Isaiah Crowell fumble in the second quarter when they had a chance in the red zone to go up 14-7, to not only do they not score, 
right down the field come the Texans, and that to me was one of a huge swing in the game. Yeah, that was uh, probably the, the key play in the game or the key mistake uh, by the Browns. Isaiah Cro- Crowell started the game. Ben Tate did not get an opportunity uh, to start against his former team. Uh, Isaiah got the nod, and these guys came in with 21 takeaways. That's an NFL high. They also had an NFL high 11 uh, fumble recoveries. Uh, they punched it out of there. Uh, Isaiah wasn't able to uh, protect the football down there, and and uh, they made him pay. They made the Browns pay for that. Anytime you score at the end of a oh. of the half like that, the chances of winning the game, I think, are something like 80%. So uh, that wasn't good. The Browns lost the turnover battle. We knew that was going to be huge. Mike Pettin uh, had preached it. We, we all knew it. And uh, that's kind of how it went down today. So now the Browns have to regroup. They're going on the road. But like you said, they've got Josh Gordon coming back. Something for them to look forward to. Uh, but everyone should still remember, they're still 6-4 and four right now. All is not lost. And that's it from First Energy Stadium.